Sup bitch tits, I had just finished wiping off the outside of the window and a bird came and took a shit. I have to say his his trajectory is just amazing. And the timing, oh my god. So let's talk about people who ruin your day. Before I start, I just like to say that even though they go ruin your day, don't don't let them get to you. They're just doing that because they're unhappy or something. So yeah, anyways. Every single person in front of you in any line of any store or pharmacy whatever now don't get me wrong if you have to buy something important that makes all the sense you're in the right here i'm in the wrong that dog needs that that dog needs to shut up but to be waiting in line to buy like a huge bulk of groceries and somebody's in the front of the line about to buy a pack of cigarettes not a pack of cigarettes with something else just a pack of cigarettes are you being like a hundred percent like you being 100 percent serious? Like this is this is you? This this is you? Why do they still make you? I hold the door for people sometimes, but that's only when like they're right next to the door. So I know oh, they're about to use the door. I better open it. How about the people who see you down the street and hold the door for you? Like you you now in a hurry. Like you have to run from wherever you are so you don't seem like an asshole and reach up to them and say thank you for holding the door. When you were down the street. Why do they still make you? Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or let's say you and your friend about to say bye. You're like, yeah, man, see you later. And then you both walk in the same direction. I would go out of my way. See that I'm about to walk with you. And walk the opposite direction. You'd be home in like 20 minutes. And I'd be lost. Why do they still make you? I don't even know why I'm mad at you. I'm just mad today, I guess. I'm just mad. Or like, say you're watching TV or whatever. Whatever you're doing in your room. You're comfortable in your bed. Could be lying down comfy. You're in a comfy position. You're in a comfy position. Then somebody walks in your room. Harasses you. Leaves your room. But doesn't close the door. You see this shit? You see, you see this shit? You see this, you see this shit? This shit pisses me off every time. Why do they still make you? Can we get like an updated model, the version of you that's not an asshole? How about the person who drinks almost all the milk but leaves just a little bit in the carton, in the fridge? Like, yeah. You could have some cereal with a taste of milk. Or worse yet, they do it with your juice. So now, it looks like there's juice in the fridge, but. Not really. How about the people who walk so slow in front of you? You try to pass them, but they keep boxing you out as if they're in some kind of game show or something. And you can't get past them, and they won't walk faster. You ever just contemplate murder? Like you weighed the cons and the pros and just decided that prison isn't that bad. Why do they still make you? Or maybe the more subtle version, where a girl or guy would post, Damn, nobody ever hits me up. Then you hit them up first, randomly, and they're like, Who you thirsty? And then they screenshot your post. Put it up on Facebook or Twitter and be like, Yo, look at this thirsty ass nigga or female here. And then at the funeral, their parents are all like, They were a really nice person. I don't understand why anybody would take the time to break into their window, take up their keyboard, and then deliberately beat them to death with it. Why do they make you? Leave a comment in the comment section below if you could relate to any of this craziness that be taking place, B. 